was happening to YouTube. So pretty much um, one of the team in the East that I feel that could, you know, be a really big sleeper and no one's really truly, I mean, a decent amount of people are, are not talking about it right now, but, but still not, you know, they're not like really mainstream, but I feel like they have, they're really underrated and they could potentially be a force in the future. They could be like, you know, a potential powerhouse because I just like how team oriented is the art of Cleveland Cavaliers. So pretty much, first of all, they got a really unique dynamic duo, basically two versatile big men. They got um, Evan Mobley and they got Jared Allen. Again, two players that could guard out, guard outside, guard at the perimeter, and they at the same time they could you know guard inside. So Evan Mobley, um, he's been nothing but really good for the Cavs. Um, I know I have, I didn't really see too much Cavs games, but you know, some, I just have this instinct telling me that the Cavs could be the team that, that if I had to pick like a team that could, you know, pull off like some type of crazy upset, I think it would be the Cavs because, um, like it's just my inst. I just have this t- some type of instinct because I, I remember seeing the Cavs play against my Clippers. Um, Evan Mobley, he's been, he impressed me a lot because um, he was uh, so he start he could you know the first thing you know he's he could be a really good rim protector and next thing you know he's he's guarding outside guarding Paul George guarding some of our guards and he did really good with it like one thing I love is versatility and Evan Mobley he pretty much nails it at it and also Evan Mobley shows sign of being a pretty good um, outside shot shooter, mid-range shooter, whatever you want to call it. And pretty much, I believe Evan Mobley could be a premier big man. I, I believe he has a good chance of, you know, being better than Nikola Jokic and even Joel Embiid, honestly, because due to his nice versatility he has. And the Cavs are, I mean, they got, they're in good hands with him because, like I said, Due to the nice attributes that Mobley has, so now next we're gonna go with talk about Jared Allen. Jared Allen, um, he played with the Brooklyn Nets. Um, he was already, you know, he's shown that he could be a pretty good solid big. Got traded to the Cavs due to the, you know, the Nets acquiring James Harden, and Jared Allen's been looking pretty good too. Like, sure, he has, he can. I don't think he could shoot threes because I never really seen him shoot a three and I looked at all the all the stats and everything and he has yet to, he's like I believe 16% from the three point line but Jared Allen also like Mobley he shows um nice really good mobility really good rim protection and, and he can also kind of you know go, like play defense on some top some guards too to a certain extent and he brings a pretty good rim protection um, he's really good inside the paint. Uh, like he, he has like um his field goal percentage is seventy percent, which is that is pretty darn good. And pretty much, I believe from what I heard, um the Cavs are like the second best defensive team or whatever, something like that. But, but I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. But, but the rim protection is just really impressive. So. That's one big factor of, of why I believe the the Cavs may be able to, you know, m- m- like making it to the NBA Finals. That'll be really hard. That'll be extremely hard to do because you got the Nets, you got the Bulls, you got the Bucks, you got all the other good teams. But if they somehow, somehow, somehow make it to the NBA Finals, which is again, that'll be really tough to imagine. But you, I guess, y'all heard it first because. Again, the rim protection and their defense is just so damn good. Like, next thing you know, you got Evan Mobley and Jared Allen to clog up the paint. And then next thing you know, um, um, they're they're pretty much, you know, guarding against, playing defense against guards, and they can easily switch back. So, enough of me talking about the centers. We're going to talk about, um, on some of their, some of their other players, so... They still have Kevin Love, and Kevin Love, I mean, not going to lie, 
Like, again, I'm not, I don't watch too much Kevin Love games, but I mean, I've seen some of, some of, you know, his highlights, seeing what, what he's doing. And he seems to be a pretty serviceful backup. I know he's getting paid a pretty huge contract, but I mean, I believe he's pretty solid for a, you know, locker room mentorship and, being a solid backup because he's shown signs that he could kind of somewhat shoot, but I mean not made from the three, but like more like the mid range and and all the stuff. And he he's shown capability of grabbing some rebounds. So so again another solid an, another solid you know familiar face for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now let's talk about Darius Garland. Darius Garland, I believe he's only what 20, 21 years old, and he's been like, I don't know if y'all know it, but Darius Garland has been balling out. He's averaging, like, a near 20 points per game throughout the whole season. Now, if you want to talk about his recent games, I've apparently he's been putting up 26 points per 26, uh, 27, uh, 23. It's just, like, a, a sample size to get for y'all, to get an idea for y'all. Um, and also, his playmaking is pretty darn good. Um... He got, he has seven assists per game, so that's a really good sign. And also, that one beautiful um, assist to Jared Allen was pretty darn good. And yeah, Darius Garland is like, if you put him with you know Mobley and Allen, that's a that's a pretty good thing to match up with. And then, and then like more players to talk about. Um, Larry Markinen, I mean. He's been he's been solid. He's been solid. I mean, from what I not you know, again, don't take my word for it. It's just all of my personal opinions and my opinions. So, um, I I did not watch too many Cavs games, but for some reason, I just have this feeling that the Cavs could you know, um, be be a big time sleeper if you know what I mean. Um, so marketing, um, solid player, um. Brings good size to the Cavs team. And another player to talk about is Isaac Okoro. Isaac Okoro is a wing, really athletic, plays good defense. Kind of, you know, struggles on the off- offensive end. Um, may not the best shooter, but he's a really good slasher. Like, he got that beautiful dunk over three NBA player- players. Like, that's just pretty impressive. And also, let's... Let's talk about Colin Sexton. Colin Sexton has been out for a long, long, long time. So, I mean, I do not know what's going to really happen with Sexton. Maybe, you know, supposedly um, he's going to be out for the rest of the season. But the Cavs, in my opinion, they're pretty well-rounded. They're like a well-rounded team, plays good defense. I mean, one of the, the, if I were to say like a weakness about the Cavs team is um, like they don't probably have like a true sniper. Like, they, they kind of, you know, um, but however, their defense just, you know, is just pretty spectacular, and I'm sure Darius Garland is a capable three-point shooter. I believe it was like 38, 39%, which is, um, it's not that bad. I mean, it's pretty solid. I mean, hey, look at Damian Lillard, who pulls up the long bomb. It's, it's like around similar, this, like, you know, the percentage is pretty similar. And, I mean, Garland, I mean, he shows he shows that, you know, he's a really good Sasha as well, too. Like I said, he's a pretty good point guard for the Cavs. And, I mean, that's pretty much what I kind of got to say about the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, again, pretty well-rounded team. Um, really good defensive team. And... But again, don't take my word for it because again, I did not really watch much of the Cavs games. I probably only watched, you know, the part when they face against the Clippers. But I did some research, kind of, you know, seeing some of their their highlight games, and they did lose to the Boston Celtics, I believe. But I, but it was because I think Evan Mobley, I believe, he was out, and Jared Allen was out too. So you had. The goat taco fall start, but again, but again, I mean, I'm sure like once the Cavs to get all healthy, especially if Allen and Mobley is 
are both healthy. That'll be that'll be really tough to score score on them. Like whether it's the perimeter or the or the especially the interior paint. But again, that should just pretty much wrap up this video and let me know in the comments of what y'all think. How how good y'all think will the Cavs be? Or are the Cavs, you know, are just gonna be like a regular team? Could they pull off a big upset? Are they gonna be, you know, a pretty scary team in the future? Just let me know what you think. So and it's and as we all know, and pretty much to wrap it up, um, Merry Christmas and and enjoy the rest of the, your day or night and pretty much uh, just take care. And and again, just let me know what you think and peace.